Well, here comes the gang. Denise matches again. She's got to show everybody up. Piper is looking for cars or birds. That's her mission in our walk, is to see a bird or a car. Everybody loves how you match. <laughs> and someone had pointed out that, um, did you know that your essential oils are, are some that are dangerous to animals? Yes, I'm fully aware of that. And I've made the research. And what I use, I do not. No, oh, okay. uh, It's not a toxic. There are some, yes, 100%. Piper. Okay. Piper said, hey, she says, I don't have to listen to you. You're, you're not my owner. You're nobody. There's my mom. I have to listen to her. Not my I don't have to listen to you. Piper. <laughs> she completely ignores me. Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 1st. Rabbit, rabbit. Beginning of a new day. My shirt. Some say I have ADD. But they don't understand. Hey, wait a minute. There's a squirrel. I know it's too big. It's another one of my shirts that are too big, but it's hot. It's very hot. I was surprised I did the whole two miles because um, it was hot. And if I was hot, Denise had to been even hotter because Denise runs hot anyhow. But we have birthdays today. Today is my sister-in-law Molly's birthday. She doesn't watch my channel, but I'll still sing to her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Molly. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Love you. I don't know what she's going to do. They usually go out to dinner and the bar and all that stuff, but my brother is a germaphobe in the first place, so this is really debilitating him. <laughs> he's having a really hard time with this. He really is. Um, he's one of those people that when he went to see in the hospital, he would like look in the door and, hey, are you okay? Okay, all right, I'll go by. And then he'd like hit every little hand sanitation station through the whole hospital. He has his own little squirt bottle and he's. Not as bad as Howie Mandel, but he's running a close second. That's all I can say. But I had to write them down because we have so many. Uh, it's Jennifer Miller's birth. Jennifer, you're going to get a song. Thank you for having an easy name. <laughs> easy to remember, Jennifer Miller. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jennifer. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And it's also Kimberly's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kimberly. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And we have a 53rd anniversary. I thought I was doing good with 49, but 53 is Bob and Lydia Gunther's. It's their anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. 53 years. That's very good. There's not too many to make it that far nowadays, which is sad. But anyway, we all go through our ups and downs in marriages. We know that. Sometimes we don't hit the bottom and we never get back up, which is unfortunate. So, But... Um, both of my sons have been divorced, and both of them found happiness the second time around. So, I mean, it's it can happen. It really can. You can catch that genie in a bottle twice. Anyway, like I was saying, oh, you know, I was watching uh, Joan's Pointed Plate, and she was talking about, because uh, they're painting her house, and she's, like, ripping the, the uh, wallpaper down, and uh, putting, uh, new, I think she's remodeling her kitchen. She's putting new floors in. It so reminded me of when we remodeled our kitchen on our other house and because uh, I had got that money from Montgomery Wards for a closeout and so we just completely gutted the whole kitchen. It was awful and it was took forever because um, Jim and Jimmy were both doing it themselves so they were doing it after work and it was it was a long process and I remember that we were I was getting so aggravated because I couldn't Jim wasn't working really steady, so we couldn't afford to eat out all the time. So we were doing a lot of, the stove was still connected in the refrigerator. But, uh, so I was doing a lot of cooking. And I didn't have, I didn't really believe in paper plates and paper products at the time. And uh, so I remember bringing all of the dishes into the bathroom and washing them in the tub. I'd kneel down beside the tub and wash the dishes. Oh. 
and I just did that for about a week and I said we're gonna figure something out we're gonna figure something out so um, <laughs> what we did was we got we connected the dishwasher freestyle because it wasn't like connected you know like it wasn't in the sink or anything or connected to a counter or anything like that and so we connected that up and then the I had a sewer in front of my house and so we extended the garage hose we figured out the way so that when it went through the I know that was polluting the world but I didn't care I was tired of kneeling down doing dishes in the tub so we had the dishwasher run and then when we had the rele release you know like to rinse it and that it went into the uh, Jim was embarrassed and so we got the kitchen done a little bit quicker because he didn't like the neighbors seeing that and I thought well then you can start washing the dishes in the tub because I'm not going to do that and then when we moved in here I kind of liked the carpeting I didn't really want the hardwood floors although I love the hardwood floors now uh, it took me a while to convince me to do it but it took oh, I would say at least two weeks and I, I my house was so disarrayed it just I can understand Joan it was like you know and even if people would come over you know like they knew that you were in the middle of remodeling but it was just but now now that it's all done I'm glad I did it because it looks really nice but Anyway, my girlfriend's going to come over today. We're going to have lunch. She's bringing hers. I'm going to make mine. I, can, I think I'm just going to have a fruit platter with some uh, of the everything but the bagel. Um, bagel. Half a bagel with some uh, laughing cow on it. And I wrote down what I wanted to talk about. Oh, um, I'm starting to struggle again, which if you follow me, you know, this is my pattern. I, I struggle, struggle, struggle. And the closer I'm getting to getting to that 100 pounds, it's just like the more anxious I'm getting. And uh, I am finding that I'm going to appreciate it that much more. Uh, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you see that every year I always said on my birthday, next year 100 pounds later, next year 100 pounds later. Well, you know, I really see the realistic happening of that of my hitting the 100 pounds and so I know I'm going to hit the 100 pounds but you know I'd rather have difficult times and overcome them because I think it's just going to make it that much better that's why I wonder if like not that I wouldn't want money if you want to send me money send me money <laughs> no I'm just kidding but um, if I was so rich that I could have whatever I wanted I don't know that I'd appreciate it as much as I appreciate things now like when we did the flooring, we had to really save for that and put the money aside, and and it was expensive. It was really, I think it was like almost ten thousand dollars to do the house with the uh, hardwood floors. And we punched those pennies and put them away, which was hard for me because you know I'm not good with money, but I, it was something I wanted, and so I felt so much more accomplished. And even with my ninety-three pounds, I'm, I feel so accomplished with that, and I, I just feel so much better than if somebody would have just said, you know what here's your wish you can weigh what you want I, I, I think it, it's just um, you know I just keep on trying it, that's most I can do and like this is how I'm gonna eat the rest of my life so it shouldn't be that difficult it really shouldn't I have decided like I was talking to Sue Slims down I've I've got this maintenance down pat although um, I would like to maintain at my ideal weight not at this weight so you know, every day I'm a work in progress, and uh, I'll get there. I just will. There's my I was figuring out what I was going to eat today. See, it says I can, and I will, and I know I will. So, all right, I gotta go take a shower and get on with my day. I've already watered my flowers. I did that when I got back from my walk. I'm putting some water in the pool because it's, some of it's evaporated. And uh, let's get on with the day. I'll try to get my friend on, but she doesn't like being on video. But if, if she lets me film her, I'll put her on and you'll see her. If not, you're out of luck. I don't ever film anybody if they don't want to be filmed. I just uh, give them that right. So I always let people know when I'm filming them. All right, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, we're going to have some bacon and eggs and a half of a bagel and a cup of tea. Today is Wednesday, July 1st. I started my day with a prayer. My quote is, Surround yourself with those who believe in you. Your life is too important for anything else or anything less. Uh, it's an eight-point breakfast, uh, 23 points for the day, three points for my center cut bacon, four points for my half a bagel, one point for my laughing cow chi, and zero for the eggs, berries, bananas, and tea. I still have 15 points left for dinner. I think we're going to have barbecue chicken for dinner.
Well, my friend just left. Um, I never even asked to put her on video because I know she's not a really big fan of that. But we had a nice little lunch. I didn't eat because I had, had just had finished a peach and some, a bowl of watermelon. And she had McDonald's. So we, we just talked about stuff. She stayed a couple hours. She brought me some flowers for my anniversary. I'll show them to you when I close out the video tonight. I'll show you them because that's inside. I'm outside. It's hot out here, but like I said, I don't like, I'm cooped up all winter. I have a feeling we're going to be cooped up again all next winter, and so I want to be outside as much as I can. That's my plan. But uh, I was going through my emails, and I saw that Tamson, Dar Tamson, oh, my mind, my just mind went blank. I know you, Tamson. I know you. I know who you are. How come I can't remember your last name? Okay, I have to look, because that's going to bother me. Okay, it's Tamson Darlin. How could I forget that? She's a darling of a lady, and how could I have forgot that? But anyway, her mother is in the hospital, and she has a um, brain tumor. So she's asking for us to say some prayers for her. It was just diagnosed, so we want to pray for her, Tamsin's mother. And we also want to pray for Sparkling Susan. Her dad um, has a pulmonary em embolism in his lungs, so... Uh, I'm asking for prayers for both Tamsin and Susan because uh, for their parents. Because if we still have our parents with us, we should really treasure that. Uh, my, my parents are gone. They've been gone for a while now. I miss them every day. But if your parents are there now, call them. Don't text them. Don't email them. Call them and talk to them face to face. Do a FaceTime. Well, my kids FaceTime me. I love it. I see Christy a lot. Danny FaceTimes me once a week, and he comes over to see me once a week. And then Jimmy calls me out. Well, Jimmy and I, we're always texting back and forth because we have completely different political views. And so we're always, like, goading each other in fun. Uh, I've always said that, uh, you know, like, just because my opinion doesn't agree with your opinion doesn't mean that either one of our opinions are right. It's like you believe what you want to believe, and we can have a healthy discussion. And uh, I, I can't help it. He's wrong. <laughs> But anyway, um, we, we don't ever fight. We don't ever argue. We just uh, politically disagree on a lot of things. But that doesn't mean that we don't love each other and we don't respect each other's opinion. And I just wish that could be more of what the world was like. Not Republican, not Democrat. Just people. You know, you don't have to agree with everything everybody says. But you don't have to hate them just because they don't agree with you. That's just not the way I was brought up so all right I'm reading still this is the book I'm reading oh did you see it another James Patterson I get a lot of James Patterson books because they're an easy quick read I like an easy quick read but um, I only have a hundred pages to go and then I'm gonna find another book so I'll probably start another book tonight and when I do I'll let you know the name of it Okay, we're going to have barbecue chicken, corn on the cob. I'm going to have some potato chips. Jim's going to have some macaroni salad. Uh, it's a nine-point dinner, zero for my barbecue sauce. Or barbecue chicken, I use the uh, GU's barbecue sauce, which is zero points. And corn on the cob, five points for an ounce of potato chips. And three points for a teaspoon of butter. And one point for my lemonade. So it's nine points. Uh, earlier I had a sugar-free pudding for a snack with some pretzel rods, so I still have two points left for later on. Well, the potato chips were a nice change of pace. I didn't really need them, but a half a cup of macaroni salad was eight points and an ounce of potato chips was five. I chose the potato chips. Now really the macaroni salad probably had more health benefits than the potato chips, but the potato chips tasted so good. And then Jim barbecued the chicken on his new um, with charcoal grill. It come out really good. I was Jim's not the best barbecuer. But shh, we won't tell him that. But you know what? It actually came out really well. It was really good. It was delicious. So I'm going to just sit here. I finished my book. I did like it. I didn't realize it was part of a continuation book. So now i got to find the next book. But this is my next book I'm reading. Target. By Alex, with Alex Cross by James Patterson. Now this one I know he probably writes himself because there's no other author. Oh, do I got macaroni salad? I got some barbecue sauce. I mean, why didn't you tell me? You guys should have told me I had some barbecue sauce on my face. 
could dress me up, but you can't take me out. <laughs> anyway, um, so tomorrow's my anniversary. I'm going to get up and go for my walk in the morning, and then I'm going to go pick up my turtle cake, and then go pick up Jim's pie, and then I'm going to go by the post office, see if I got any mail, and marinate my ribs, or rub, put a rub on. Christy gave me a recipe for a, a rub to put on the ribs, and let them soak in the refrigerator for a couple hours. So, looking forward to tomorrow. It'll be nice. Jim's going to work, but what else is new? It's supposed to be in the high 90s for the next 10 days. So, it's going to be hot. It's going to be a hot one. So, uh, <clears throat> that's going to do it for tonight. So, I will talk to you guys in the morning.